Hello everyone, I'm Isaiah, and these are Pokemon games. These are also Pokemon games. This is also a Pokemon game. This is also a Pokemon game. This is also a Pokemon game. These are also Pokemon with Pokemon games. These are also Pokemon games. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, these are all also Pokemon games. Wow, so the Pokemania is real. But would you believe it if I told you it wasn't always like this? Yeah, I think it was back around 2004 when Pokemon Leaf Green and Pokemon Emerald released back on the Game Boy Advance is kind of, um, those were my last Pokemon games that I really have fond memories of playing. I missed all of the DS era. I missed um, the Nintendo Wii era. I missed 3DS Pokemon. And actually, it wasn't up until the release of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, surprisingly enough, is what pulled me back into Pokemon. Um, what's that like? 19, 18 or 19 years later. And that's due in part to one of my favorite YouTubers. He did uh, Pokemon Violet, and I watched his gameplay. It looked fun, and it kind of reminded me of like what it, what like just what childhood felt like, like the joy of something so simple that you can feel just escaping away into a fantasy world. And so after playing Pokemon Violet, I just, I got the, I got Pokemania and I kind of um, became obsessed. And I tried to just collect back my childhood in these recent years. So like when I went back to the US in July of 2023, my brothers, they gave me some of their Pokemon games. My grandma, she gave me some of her Pokemon games on Nintendo 64. And just throughout the year since Pokemon Violet released, what I want to do today is I want to play roughly the first 10 minutes of the uh, first Pokemon games I really have a deep memory of, and that is Pokemon Red. All right, so now we're in. We got the Game Boy set up. We got the stream running. Pokemon Fire Red. I'm gonna go with new game. Hello there. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Professor, Prof. This world is inhabited by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for fights. Myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. First, what is your name? I'm gonna go with new name. I remember when I was younger, um, so I had two older brothers, I believe one had re red, Pokemon red, one had blue, and um, I was too young to really know how to play, so I would just spend time in the game like just battling their Pokemon with other wild Pokemon, and um, yeah, so that's some of my earliest memories of Pokemon, generation one, generation two. Right, so your name is Isaiah. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were a baby. Um, what is his name again? Oh, you think you'd remember his grandson's name? Blue Gary John. Ooh, who's my nemesis in real life? Hmm. I don't really have any nemesis as a rival, so I'm gonna go with Gary. That's right, I remember now, his name is Gary. Isaiah, your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go! Ooh, I'm so excited. <laughs> yes, this is my bedroom, guys. The first time I've ever had my own room. I got the Super Nintendo hooked up. It's the classic CRT television. I got my desktop computer over here. Let's go down and see Mom. Hi, Mom. Let's put the TV on the floor like me, huh? Right! Oh, boy, leave home someday! It said so on TV. Prof Oak next door is looking for you! Thanks, Mom. Well, alright, let's go see what Professor Oak wants. Wow, here's my town. I'm raising Pokemon too! When they get strong, they can protect me. Yes. Pokemon are good at protecting you. That's for damn sure. Hi, Isaiah. Gary is out at Grandpa's lab. All right. This must be Oak's lab. 
So real quick, I just want to talk about this um, kind of um, like format background thing I made. So on the left, that's my team. Six boxes for six Pokemon. On the right, those are my badges, and I'm going to tackle this game in Nuzlocke mode. So what that means is that each Pokemon you catch, you have to name them. You have to catch a Pokemon in each new region you visit. The first Pokemon, I believe. And if a Pokemon faints in battle, that's game over. You have to discard that Pokemon. And, yeah. When I first heard about that was actually in the Pokemon Violet run. The, um, my favorite YouTuber did that pulled me back into Pokemon. And um, I thought that was the coolest thing. Pokemon with a twist. Let's get back to it. Yo, Isaiah! Gramps isn't around. Alright. And that means we have to go find them. Can you imagine if I could just take my Pokemon now? Yeah. Of course, have to ask for permission, you know? That's the one thing I don't miss about being a kid is like, everything you need to ask permission. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, wait, don't go out. It's unsafe. Wild Pokemon live in tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know. Here, come with me. Wow. Here he is, the man himself. Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. Gary? Let me think. Oh, that's right. I told you to come. Just wait. Here. Isaiah, there are three Pokemon here. Ha, ha, ha. They are inside the Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. In my old age, I have only three left, but you can have one. Choose. Hey, Gramps, what about me? Be patient, Gary. You can have one, too. So I'm going to go ahead and save here and start, um, The last time I did, like, um, a 12, 13-minute video taking on Sprout Tower and Pokemon Silver. And after I finished the video, I turned it off, and the whole thing was just void, null. And I was like, what the heck, man? So this software, I've got to be careful with it. Charmander obviously prefers hot places. When it rains, steam sets a spout from the tip of its tail. And look at that sprite. So cute. So, you want to fire your Pokemon? Charmander? Maybe. Squirtle, tiny turtle. After birth, its back swells and hardens into a shell. Powerfully sprays foam from its mouth. So you want the water Pokemon? No. Bubblesaur. A strange seed was planted on its back at birth. The plant sprouts and grows with this Pokemon. So, you want the plant Pokemon, Bulbasaur? No. Um, well, it is Pokemon Red after all, and um, I have Pokemon Blue, and I'm going to do a playthrough of that as well, and so I imagine I'll go with Charmander, you know? And then on my Blue, I'll go with Squirtle, and then we'll switch them up, and that's the Pokedex. Yes! This Pokemon is really energetic. They received a Charmander. Do you want to give a nickname to Charmander? Yes, I do. Alright. Usually when I can't think of nicknames for my Pokemon, I'll um I'll just think of my students at work slash school and I'll <laughs> name my Pokemon after students. So who am I gonna name this after? <laughs> it's a tough one. Ah! I have a rock, I, I have a Rex. Mm, 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 mm. Ah, okay. Just, look. This is my go to Char Charmander name. Sir Rex. Just so suiting, uh, suitable. Alright, we have Mr. Rex. Sir Rex. That's my Charmander. I'll take this one then. Gary received a Squirtle. My Pokemon looks a lot stronger. 
Yeah, yeah. Wait, Isaiah, let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. So we're gonna have a poke battle right here. Right in the middle of the lab. I feel like it's not a professional place to have a Pokemon battle, but Gary wants to fight. Gary, send out Squirtle. Ooh. Fighting water with fire here. <laughs> Ooh, that's kind of critical, eh? This is so exciting, like, playing through the game as an adult. Just because I finally have, like, um, a general sense of what I'm doing. I know how to play. I understand the game and the lore much deeper now, um, 20 years later. So, yeah, it's just, it, it's a lot better than walking around Pokemon, fighting random Pokemon with my older brother's team. It's more of, like, a sense of, um, like, personal, more intimate. Now nah, we're gonna beat Gary's butt. And um, I only told myself I was gonna do a 10 minute playthrough just because I don't know how this is gonna be received, this um, playthrough. So please, please let me know down in the comments if you've made it this far, would you wanna potentially see more gameplay of Pokemon Red? I'm gonna play through the whole game anyways, so it just depends like do you guys wanna watch it or not. Otherwise, I'll just all enjoy it by myself. <laughs> See, defeated Gary! What? Unbelievable. I picked the wrong Pokemon. And Isaiah got some money for winning. Okay, I'll make my Pokemon fight to toughen up. To toughen it up. Isaiah, Gramps, smell you later. Alright, well, we beat Gary. We got our first Pokemon. And, um... As I raise your young Pokemon by making a fight. I, th I think that's going to be the end of the video here. Just because I don't want to jump too too much into the water if this isn't going to go over well. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. And um, I appreciate your support. I'm almost at 100 subscribers soon, and I'm so excited. I remember when I first started my YouTube channel, I was just like, if I just had 100, I'd be fine. And I'm almost there. So, thanks to you guys. I'm super grateful and I'm super excited and I feel like on this journey I'm able to find out who I am more I'm opening up more I, I previously I was never able to speak in front of a camera um, hey sorry the camera cut off before I got to finish what I was saying um yes yeah, so I just wanted to express my gratitude once again Thank you guys so much. I remember when I first started YouTube, all I wanted was 100 subscribers. And now that we're almost there, I guess my new goal is 300. And um, yeah, doing this and with you guys watching, it's really helping me open up and become more self-confident. Growing up, and even to this day, I like I stutter often, and that's like a big insecurity. So seeing like there are people who not only watch my videos, but subscribe to see more of my videos... That gives me all the confidence in the world. And yeah, so just thank you guys so much. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.